Same setup. One, two, I'm pulling and push five towards me. When he pulls me, what I do is switch my grips again. Same thing here. But when I start to push Fabio, he's gonna just contact my position and put one of my legs between his legs. So when he does that, I don't have leverage to push him anymore. I don't wanna keep fighting against him. If he wants to put my leg in between his leg, I'll take advantage, I'll hook. Okay, I was here, look how I move my hip and just spin it, then I can hook his leg. Once I hook his leg, I'll turn this foot on the floor, pull him over my shoulder, flip, flip him over. Then I stop right here. I continue holding his sleeve. Now what I do, I pull him towards me. Once I pull him towards me, then I can let go his sleeve. Grab over his shoulder, continue pull him towards me, and choke. And that's it. Right. Let's take a look again. I have, push, then I have a hook. When he blocks over here, that is okay. I'm waiting for him to pull me, switch to set up guard. I want to grab, I could not grab, put him off balance. So Fab is gonna pull one of my legs between his leg. I hook his leg, so immediately. See, I was here. Look how I move to the side. Okay, yeah, that's very important, again, okay? the tail over here. So let's do it again. So when he push, I hook and use the momentum. Touch my foot on the floor and pull him over my shoulder. Look at this. Throw with him. Continue grabbing his collar. Then I can let go his sleeve over his shoulder. Pull Fabio towards me, then choke him. Remember here, once I grab on top over here, I gotta turn my fist. I'm not going this way over here, right? I don't wanna hurt his face. I wanna put a pressure on the soft part over here of his neck. I pull, then I turn, and I squeeze. You guys get it? Two, it's easy, right? Let's do it.